Once upon a time, there were Jews. These Jews were, well, all over the world. They used to live in Judea, hence the name Jews, but that was a really long time ago. So they've gotten used to not living there anymore. This is fine, actually. Yeah, we're living our lives. Yeah, this is cool. Who needs Judea, right? Get out of here. What? Get out of our country. We hate Jews. Yeah, I hate Jews. Okay, okay, we'll get out. Every couple of years, the Jews would get expelled from various countries in Europe. So they kept migrating. By the 20th century, Jews were mostly located in Europe, particularly in Poland. But not all Jews were living in Europe. Some Jews were living in Arab areas. Even though some of these areas were still under European control. Oh, and of course, there were still some Jews living in the land of Israel. You know what we should do? We should go back to the land of Israel. Israel? Isn't that called Palestine now? You know exactly what land I mean. The land of our ancestors, where our identity was formed, where the kings and the prophets lived, where we have built our ancient kingdoms before the Babylonians and the Romans kicked us out. Dude, that was thousands of years ago. Now that place sucks. But don't you see? If we don't go back there and establish our own state, we will keep getting pushed around by everyone else. Nah, come on dude, it's not that bad. I think it actually is that bad. People really hate us, and I fear that it will culminate in something really bad. We have to start working towards the re-establishment of a Jewish state in Israel. And so, some Jews started working towards the idea of establishing a Jewish state in the land of Israel. The belief that Jews should live in Israel is called Zionism. Many Jews actually disagreed with Zionism and didn't think that there was anything wrong with the way things were back then. Anyway, the Zionists had a problem. The land of Israel was currently under the control of the Ottoman Empire. But, you know, that's not something a war can't change. So, the First World War broke out and the Ottomans collapsed, and the Middle East has been partitioned between France and Britain, with Palestine going to the British. And why, you might ask? because it was below the line that they drew on a map. Just like that. Yay, we won! We won? You mean I won? Yeah, but, but, but didn't you say that if we Arabs helped you against the Ottomans, you will give us a huge Arabic state? Mm, did I say that? I, I don't know. I don't recall saying that. What? You literally promised us the state. You did? Yeah, I, I just wanted to, to take over this territory, actually. Hey, Britain! Nice job beating the Ottomans. Remember how you told us we'll get a state in Israel if we win the war? What? But Palestine was supposed to be part of the Arab state. No way, it was supposed to be a Jewish state. And it's called Israel, not Palestine. Oh boy. So, are we getting a state? Yes, yes, you could, you could both share this land. No. Okay, okay, so no. Uh, you're not getting a state right now. Maybe later. Okay, but can we at least immigrate into Israel? Yeah, sure. No, no, they can't immigrate into Israel. Okay, okay, so no, Jews, you can't immigrate. What? But you said we could. Oh my god, these two. Okay, never mind this. I'm going back to Europe where people are being reasonable. Hey, Europe, what's up? Germany's being a baby. What? Come on, Germany, what's wrong? Oh my god, losing that war sucked. Oh, come on, Germany, don't be like that. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, you know how it is. I mean, last time you beat us, and we took it okay. No, you guys cheated. What? Come on, how did we cheat? It's, uh, it's the capitalist's fault. And the stupid communists plotting against us. And your stupid western values. And the gypsies. And the gays. Oh my god, why are everyone except for us so lame? Yeah, everyone are super lame, huh, guys? Guys? Boy, it sure sucks how Germany lost, right? Oh, us Jews? Uh, we were on your side, trust us. And you, Jews, you are the worst enemies of our people. 
Wait, what? And so, after much drama, the Nazi party took over Germany and declared the Jews to be the enemies of the Reich, which is a fancy name for Nazi Germany. Germany would soon start and lose the Second World War, but also, and more importantly for our subject, Germany would commit a massive genocide known as the Holocaust, in which about two-thirds of the total Jews living in Europe were murdered. Now do you believe us? See what happens when we don't have a state? Okay, okay, that Zionism thing is beginning to sound like a good idea, so where do we sign up? Come over to Israel, we'll discuss it. All right, where are you guys going? Uh, just joining my fellow Jews in the land of my forefathers. No. What do you mean no? No. But we are literally getting murdered out there. Why does that mean that we have to suffer? Go bother someone else. Hey, no, no, don't get it. Britain? Britain? <sighs> what? The Jews are trying to take over Palestine again. It's called Israel. It's Palestine. Oh, come on, with your accent you can't even pronounce the letter P. And seriously, it's our land, so technically we are reclaiming it, not taking over it. There were never Jews in Palestine. Actually, there are many archaeological evidence that suggest that we, in fact, were in Israel, not to mention the Bible. Ever heard of it? The Bible? Lame. Have you ever heard of the Quran? Guys, guys, stop it. Stop it. Jews, you can get in. Yay, but not all of you. Aww. Arabs, you get to keep the Jews out. Yay, but not all of them. Aww. Britain, you suck. Oh, on that we can agree. Oh my god, I need a break from these two. Hey, United Nations? We go by UN nowadays. Right, so you know how you just got formed after the end of the war? Yeah. So if you're so mighty, solve this problem for me. What do I do with Palestine or Israel or whatever? And so the UN decided to partition the land between the Jews and the Arabs. We accept. We do not accept. Oh, come on. Why would we accept? Go back to Europe, you colonizer. You're Europeans. You do realize we are literally called Jews because we come from Judea in Israel and not from Europe. Okay, so we are called Palestinians because we are descendants of the biblical Philistines. You literally just made that up. Oh, you're wants to talk about making things up. And so, the Jews accepted the partition plan, while the Arabs did not. This immediately led to civil war between Arab and Jewish militias in the territory that is Israel. Or Palestine. Whatever floats your boat. Is it really a civil war though? I mean, it is the same land, but two different peoples. So, it is kind of a civil war, but also not a civil war. Anyway, the Jews did well in driving back most of the Arab forces. They have officially declared their independence and established the state of Israel. Hearing this, the newly independent Arab states, that is Syria, Egypt, Jordan and Iraq, invaded the newly formed Israel. And thus, the civil war deteriorated into a regional war between states. The Arabs believed that they can remove the Israelis from the land and, well, they were wrong and they lost. During the conflict, Israel took over most of the territory that was to be partitioned. The rest of the territory was taken over by the Arab states. More specifically, the Gaza Strip was taken over by Egypt, while the West Bank and East Jerusalem was taken over by Jordan. Neither of these states were interested in Palestinian independence. Almost a million Palestinian Arabs fled or were expelled from the territories of the newly created Israel. These would become known as the Palestinian refugees. A similar number of Jews fled, or were expelled, from the Arab countries. These also became refugees, at least until the state of Israel took them in, so now they're no longer refugees. These events have been critical to forming the national identity of Israel and the Jews. But the same can also be said about the Palestinian Arabs. They will call these events the Nakba, which roughly translates to the disaster or the catastrophe. And so, every year, the State of Israel celebrates its Independence Day, while the Palestinian Arabs commemorate their Disaster Day. Seems perfectly compatible, right? And that's a summary of the formation of Israel. Nothing has ever gone wrong with the region ever since the end.